why we agreed to do this again. We are doing this because I promised my friend Timmy that we'd help clean up his kids. And because... Hmm? Dirty monkeys smell bad. Aw, aren't they cute? Oh, they're dirty. Hmm. <laughs> yup. And dirty monkeys smell bad. Remember that, kids. We need it for performing long division to solve a little problem we have here. Long division? Yeah. Long division is a division method we use when we have large numbers. Jax, get the box of fruits next to you. These little monkeys look impatient. What? The fruits are for them? I thought they were for me. Ugh, you finished your share on the way here, Jax, and then mine, too. Oops. Aha! These three want bananas. And we have 63 bananas in this box. Oh, that means we have to divide 63 by 3. So that makes 63 the dividend and 3 the divisor? <laughs> That's right, kids. Now we just have to follow a series of simple steps to perform long division. Remember, dirty... Oh. Dirty monkeys smell bad. Uh, yes, we remember. we remember. Well, the D here stands for division. M for multiplication. S for subtraction. And B for bring down. These are the steps for long division. First we divide. Then we multiply. Then subtract. Then we bring down. And repeat till we either get the remainder as zero or a number which is less than the divisor. So, let's begin. 63 divided by 3. The first step is to divide. The first digit of the dividend is 6. Can I divide 6 by 3? Yes, 6 divided by 3 gives the quotient 2. Good! We write that above the dividend. Like this. The next step is to multiply. We have to multiply our divisor, 3, and the quotient we just got. That's 2. And 3 times 2 is 6. Ding, ding. We write this product exactly below 6. The next step is... I know. Dirty monkeys smell bad. So the next step is subtraction. We have to subtract 6 from 6. The difference is 0. Ding, ding, Jax. Next, B stands for bring down. For the next step, we have to bring down the 3 from 63 and write it next to the difference we just got. And then? Then we repeat. Till we get the remainder as zero, or a number less than the divisor. Because then, we won't be able to divide anymore. That's right. So back to step one. That's... Divide! Three divided by three equals one. Let's put that here, right next to the previous quotient. Next... Multiply! Three times one is three. It goes right here. Then... Subtract. subtract. Yeah. Three minus three leaves no remainder. That's it. Kids, we're done. Because there are no more digits left, the quotient here is 21. And the remainder is, of course, zero. So... Each of these baby monkeys get 21 bananas. What about these kids here? Hmm, there are four baby monkeys. And we have 35 apples for them. That's 35 divided by four. Let's start with the steps, shall we? Divide! We have to divide three by four, but, but wait, we can't do that. 
three is less than four. Well, in that case, we take the first two digits together. That's 35 divided by four. And four doesn't divide 35 either. When the divisor doesn't divide the number perfectly, we take the closest number before it that is perfectly divisible. Four divides 32, which is the closest number to 35 that is perfectly divisible. 32 divided by four is eight. Right, let's put that up here. Next. Subtract. Oh, oh, okay, subtracting 32 from 35 gives the difference of three. Three is not divisible by four. Three is also less than the divisor four. So we stop the long division here? Yup. This means 35 divided by four is eight. So each baby monkey here gets eight apples. Hmm, but we're still left with three apples. The remainder is three. I know. I saved them for us. Uh-uh-uh. First clean up, then eat up. Demi, you are gonna be so proud.